Apparently Walt Disney had a three room operating system in his creative process. Literal rooms he moved through. He had a creative room, a management room, and a criticism room. <laughs> Hello. Obviously in the first room, he's brainstorming with creative people. The second room, they're talking about logistics and delivery systems or the management of it. But the third room is where he would sit down with critics. These were not people that were against him. These were people on his side, the right kind of critics that wanted to win, but nonetheless critics. People that could see pitfalls and blind spots that he couldn't see because he was over attached to the idea. Creative people get so attached to their ideas and protective and defensive of them that they're not open to criticism. They see all criticism as negative, unhelpful. You don't believe in me. That's not true. I wonder, do you need to add a third room to your creative process personally or with others called a criticism room, a room where you get feedback from good people who are on your side, but they absolutely know if you do it this way, it's going to fail. If you don't change this part of it, then nobody's going to buy it and involve in it and commit to it and get involved. I know you love your idea, but if it's too fragile to survive some criticism, it's probably not going to su survive anyway, because once it gets in the hands of the, the public or whoever the end users are, they're going to let you know what they think. So better find that out early on with people who are on your side than people who aren't. What do you think? Do you need to get a third room in your creative process?